Be it right. Bill's not working tonight, right? No, it's his night off. Good, because last night I asked him for some extra chips, and he gave me a funny look. I'm not coming in anymore when he's working. Do you know him? What? The slob over there, you know? No, why? Well, he seems to have quite an effect on you. Well, who the hell are you? James Papora. And you remind me of myself. Well, at least the way I used to be. Yeah, how was that? Well, since I'm about to give you all of life's secrets, you can at least tell me your name. My name is Brian. Brian! No, I once had a friend named Brian. Forty years of age, he uh, dropped dead of a heart attack, just like that. Nervous type, like you. I'm not nervous. I, I can give a shit about most things. Hmm. If that's true, why does a slob across the bar get uh, such a reaction out of you? No, this goes much deeper. How's your home life? Right, uh, how's yours? The uh, beer? Yeah, and what for my friend over here? Happy hour ended two hours ago. Let me guess. You don't like his attitude. Uh, he acted like you weren't even there. And your point is? You should be pissed. Lesson number one, Brian. Never think what the other person's thinking. What the hell does that mean? You can't cut the mustard. Use a spoon. In English. Get even. It's much more fun. Get even? Are you nuts? Better than driving yourself nuts. Take control. Set the tempo. I am in control. Yet you drink here every night, lost in your own world. I used to come here all the time. You never noticed me. But I noticed you, night after night, with that same puss on your face. Uh, don't blame the slob over there for your lousy home life. You're just a new actor, real old script. Typecast. Time for a new role. First, I drink to make others appear more interesting. And second, my mother-in-law would drive anyone out of their house. Ah. The victim. There you go again. Playing the victim. Drive her out of the house. Plus the weaknesses. Everybody has one. I don't know. Think. Uh, what, do we, what does she enjoy? What's her habits? Her lunch. Every day, she goes to the park and she gets a ham sandwich and a pastry. Perfect. Sabotage. That's your answer. Sabotage what? Well, we can go either one. But, uh... Go with the pastry. Um, gum. Uh, do I have to spell it out? You're gonna get a pastry. You're gonna squish a piece of gum. Every time she takes a bite, a mouthful of gum. Now you do this every day. You're gonna drive her right out of the house. I can't do that. And what if I get caught? <clears throat> Don't get caught. It's as simple as that. Think. Use your head. You know, I would do anything to wipe that smirk off that hag's face. Well, believe me, you're going to feel like a new man. If somebody would have given me this advice, it's not a story. Just wipe the smirk off the hag's face. You know, I think you're nuts. No. I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. Uh, Brian, before you go, just uh, take along this piece of wisdom. When you worry about what other people think, you only neglect yourself. This bar never looked better. You called it, James. Here, right? No, tonight, my man, I'm going to have a Scotch single malt. And I'm going to run it to that. Okay. Here you go. your mom's flight tomorrow? 7 a.m. Okay, I'll see you when I get home. I thought for sure James would be here. Excuse me. Yeah. 
Have you seen that gentleman I was talking to the other night? What, what gentleman? Uh, he was well dressed, middle aged. Uh, you know, you come in here every night, and I don't think I've ever seen you talk to anybody but yourself. Now, he used to come in all the time. His, uh, his name was uh, James Bavora. James Bavora. Guy's dead. Killed himself months ago. He's a nice guy, but everything bothered him. 